Hi, I'm Johnny Uzzini, the executive pastry chef at restaurant Jean George here in New York City. Today we're going to be making our chocolate caramel tart using the Waring commercial food processor as well as a tabletop fryer. So we're going to start with the hazelnut streusel. We're going to use the regular blade, brown sugar, pastry flour, salt, and hazelnut flour, and our butter. I love using a food processor for these kind of doughs because it's not incorporating any air. A lot of times air is a problem when baking and it doesn't bake as dense as you'd like it to. So we're going to start just by pulsing it. This is a great feature where I'm able to just kind of start the blend first before I turn it on. Just going to check it. We're almost there. At this point when the dough starts to come together, I'm going to add my hazelnuts. I don't want to blend my hazelnuts too fine because our grater is going to do that for me later. I just want to kind of chip them up, break them down, and get them incorporated a little bit. Again, I'm going to go back to the pulse. And that's it. So this is a cool technique because we're going to use a second attachment afterwards. But what I want to do, I'm going to pack this dough into a tube. So what we're looking for is to make the cylinder about the same diameter as the diameter of our feed chute. Because we really want to, once we freeze it, we're going to force it down here and use our plunger. Another great attribute of this plunger is the fact that it locks in. So you're able to use it like this, take it out, use it like this. And in, in a commercial kitchen, that's huge because so often these get lost easily because they're just loose and, and flying around. But the fact that it locks in, it's able to keep, you know, we're able to keep everything together and not get lost. So I'm going to finish making my tube. Okay, so these we're gonna go into the freezer for our next step. So essentially for the second streusel, it's the same technique. We're gonna put our butter in, cocoa powder, sugar, and our flour. Starting on the pulse. Another great feature of this bowl is the fact that I'm able to actually turn my dough over, turn the bowl over, and my blade's not coming out. So I'm just gonna bring this together the rest of the way by hand, and this is gonna go directly into the oven. The next unique feature that we're gonna use is this shred disc. What I love about the shred disc is it has two sides, so it's reversible. So we have a medium-sized shred on one and a fine on the other. So what we're gonna do is lock our post into place, Sit it in, make sure it's in snug, spin it around, make sure you're locked into position. This is our frozen streusel dough, remember? Turn the machine on. You can see this gives us a, a really great texture. 